Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an exciting breakthrough in aging research, the mitophagy inducing compound or MIC. Let's explore how this new discovery is revolutionizing our understanding of aging and disease management. MIC is a natural compound identified by researchers at the Buck Institute. It's known for its role in mitophagy, a process that removes and recycles damaged mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. This process is crucial for maintaining healthy cells and by extension, a healthy body. Healthy mitochondria are key to longevity. Dysfunctional mitochondria are implicated in a range of age-related diseases, including neurodegenerative disorders, heart disease, metabolic disorders, and even cancer. Until now, there's been no approved treatment targeting mitochondrial dysfunction, despite its central role in these conditions. So how does MIC work? Mitophagy-inducing compound, or MIC, is a Kumarin. Kumarins are bioactive compounds found in plants, especially in certain types of cinnamon. MIC stands out for its ability to extend lifespan in C. elegans worms, improve pathology in neurodegenerative disease models, and enhance mitochondrial function in mammalian muscle cells. So what are the mechanisms of action? The power in MIC lies in its enhancement of the transcription factor, TFEP, which is a regulator of autophagy and lysosomal functions. What that means is that this action helps clean up damaged proteins and prevents mitochondrial dysfunction. Importantly, MIC works upstream of TEP, TFEP, influencing key receptors and inducing mitophagy. So what are the implications for human health? This discovery opens new doors in geroscience. MIC being a naturally occurring compound shows potential as a general geroprotective therapeutic. Its ability to influence mitophagy could lead to treatments for neurodegenerative diseases, muscle wasting, and other age-related conditions. As research continues, Mike's role in health and aging becomes more evident. It's a promising step towards understanding and potentially controlling a major facet of the aging process. So don't consume Cumarins directly as they can be toxic to the liver you are better off consuming high amounts of cinnamon for now. Add cinnamon to your protein shake or your cereal or your coffee, etc. That's the safest way to get your benzo kumarins. And if you haven't already, check out our Patreon channel. I'll put a link in the details below. You'll find a ton of videos in our Patreon that we can't put on YouTube's standard platform for various reasons. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition out now, link below. Please support the channels by hitting that thumbs up button and fist bump that subscribe button. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.